All right, everybody, welcome to our Tribe Redefined and Friends team call for August 24th. We are not going to do a 100 challenge, even though um, it is still a Team Cup month, mainly because so many of you joined in for the Emerald Push last night and did a ton of inviting. So tonight we're going to build our networks a little bit deeper so that tomorrow your invites can be even stronger or, to, or later tonight, if you want to go in and do some inviting, you can. Um, but I wanted to go through some ways, I'm noticing more names, for us to connect and expand. Um, I have a quick little, very brief presentation. It's going to take three or four minutes. And then we're going to get to work. My goal is for you to work on Instagram. But if you would like to toggle back and forth with Facebook, that is fine. But I'm going to explain to you exactly what we are doing. It's just about expanding and connecting. And we are going to be wrapping up by 930. I guarantee it. So let me just share my screen, please. And I love everybody that is on. Love and love and loving it. Go away, notification toolbar. Thank you very much. All right. So our, our business is a social business. We are online health and fitness coaches. We are online wellness coaches. We are virtual fitness coaches, however you want to say it. It's all about online, which is basically the world we're living in anyway. But because it's basically the world we're living in anyway, and so many more people are crowding our space, we need to remember that connections are king and building those connections will make a difference down the road. I mean, thinking about just, I'm just, the, the, the coaches that I can see right now are Jackie, well, Robin, Jackie, Colleen, and Stephanie, the only ones that I can see. I knew Jackie from college in a very tenuous kind of a way. We crossed paths in our sororities, we're a year apart, and we had some friends in common. After college, we reconnected on and off because of those mutual friends. And it was, I think, through a mom's group and, and other people that she ended up creating a, a connection with me and my challenge groups that then led her years later to coaching, leads Colleen into the fold, which creates a connection with Jackie from a different coach that used to be on our team. And then that leads Colleen to being a coach for Jackie. It didn't happen because one day I saw Jackie on a street corner and was like, you're cute, want to coach with me? And she's like, yes. And she just joined right away. That's what it feels like if you're cold messaging people. Be like, I bump into whoever I do at the grocery store and suddenly I try to sign them up as a coach. We have to build those connections and we have to give of time for those seeds to really grow. So making sure you're spending time connecting every day, it's as important as inviting. And I know there are plenty of team calls and plenty of power hours and plenty of action hours that you will do in which they tell you the inviting is the most important part, and it is. But you will have no one to invite if you're not connecting. So in my personal opinion, and I think someone like Teresa, and if, if we look at Lisa's giant numbers that keep posting in TFD, that comes from her network of being a running coach for so many years and the deep connection she has. She's not pulling those numbers out of thin air because she decided to coach one day. She's pulling those numbers because she's done years of connecting with people. And so making sure you have those connections, those invites actually have a place to go. So we're going to do a connection time tonight. Now, there are a couple of things I want you to remember. Uh, I kind of talked about this a little bit about building relationships before you invite. You are able to create some sort of consistency with this, a method with this through a couple of different means. Really collections are important. And I know a few of you are newer coaches and perhaps you didn't see the team call about collections. I'm, I'm sure Jackie and Leslie cover this in their new coach calls because I know they both use them. But it's really such a useful tool to put people inside of collections in your Instagram, which we can go through another time. And then using those collections, just sticking people in collections doesn't make a difference. It's like buying that baby book and never filling it out. You're not going to have anything to show your kids if you don't fill out the dang baby book. If you fill the collections, but you don't do anything with them, it's pointless. It's just like an empty, an empty book just sitting there with, with nothingness. So making sure you're using those collections as a chance for you to invite, as a chance for you to build relationships and connect. Go through people's stories and don't just send them heart eyes and thumbs up and applause. Actually leave them comments. Now I will say I leave many of you heart eyes and applause all the time because 
no offense, I'm not building any more connections with you that are the time I'm spending on social media. I just like to see your adorable kids. I like to know that Jackie did her push-ups so that I have to put, beast out my push-ups. I like to know, you know, that Robin's kids aren't making her that crazy today or whatever's going on or where people are traveling to, how lovely Stephanie looks when she's brushing her daughter's hair. I love all of this information about you guys. So I send you a quick little thing. But if it's someone I'm really trying to get to know, then I deserve, or they deserve for me to ask them a question, give them a compliment, actually say something real. And the same with comments. If you go to comment on someone's photo, someone you're truly trying to build a relationship with, and everyone's like, your son's so cute, your son's so cute, how adorable, he's adorable. Don't you write the same thing. Say, gosh, he's super cute, but where did you get that hat? It's the best. I'm going to a baby shower soon. Um, what was your son's favorite gift as a newborn? Like just some gift, favorite thing to do as a newborn. I don't know. That's just silly. Pretend I didn't say that. Okay, moving on. And making sure we are growing and expanding every day. So yes, spending time connecting is super important, but you need to also make sure you're adding from your network and you can do that with the people you're connecting with at the same time. And that's the, the things we're going to do tonight. So here's how this is going to work. Can everyone see all three of these? Because this is what you're gonna do. I'm gonna yell out a name. We've got a nice little list of names. Thank you very much for helping me. We're going to type these into our Instagram and I'm gonna show you what to do. So if everyone can open their Instagrams, please. And go to your page, your profile. And you're going to go to the people that you are following. And if you're not following a lot of people, don't worry. There's still going to be something that's going to work out. I'm going to say a name. The first one's Pam. So let's all practice and type in Pam. Okay. Thank you to Colleen for that suggestion. Now I have a lot of people, Pampered Mother, Pampered Chef, and a couple other Pamelas, those sneaky copycats, right? You might not have anybody besides me and that's okay. Then just delete a letter. Keep deleting a letter until you get a nice list of people. And then you're going to do these three things with as many of them as you can. I'm going to be setting a timer for three minutes and we're just going to spend three minutes in a name. So here are the three tasks once you get into a name. Pick one of the people off of that list and you're going to check if they're following you back. If they are following you back, then proceed. If they are not following you back, unfollow them. Who cares, okay? If they look like a, a lovely person who maybe just hasn't been on their Instagram in a while, you could interact with them and try to encourage them to follow you back, but I just say unfollow them. You could find them again another day. If they are following you, immediately add them to a collection if they're not in a collection already. Perhaps it's your August new followers. Perhaps it's your potential challengers. Perhaps it's potential coaches. Perhaps this person's a teacher. You like their outfits, whatever kind of collections you have. After that, interact with a couple of their posts. Don't do the first three, that's really obvious, right? But interact with one, scroll down a little, interact with another, like, comment, ask a question, and then spend some time adding new followers, potential followers from that person's account. So go to their most recent post. If people have commented on it, you're gonna work through there. If they haven't commented on it, you could look at their likers, but only from their most recent post. Once you do all three steps with a person under the PAM or PA or P letter, then you're gonna to go to the next person and you're gonna keep this going until my three minute timer runs out and I tell you the next name. Got it? All right, I have to get my timer, my computer, or my computer, my phone keeps locking out on me. On your mark, get set, go interacting with PAMs, which feels very odd for me to say. If their most recent post, also I didn't say this, is super old, like 2019 or from March or before then, unfollow them. They're not active on social media and you want to save space for people who are. Someone's been a wife for 27 years. She looks 27 years old. That is amazing. I'm going to ask her about her skincare regimen. We are one minute in. 
You might just get through one person in each name. That's fine. But if you work under the clock, sometimes you get more done and you stay intentional. If in this moment somebody starts tagging you in their stories, ignore them. If in this moment someone responds to your message, ignore them. Just do the task at hand. Just work. Ooh. Okay, that's three minutes. So wrap up whatever girl you're on right now. We're going to go back to your following. And we're going to type in the name Sue, S-U-E. I don't have anybody, so I'm deleting the E. And now I've got some people flooding my screen here. But if you've got some Sue's, work with them. I just have to go with SU. Restart the timer. This person's most recent post is from February, so I'm unfollowing them. No offense to them. I think that person got hacked. This girl's a nurse, so I'm thanking her for all she's been up to. Thirty seconds left in this one. Make sure you add a couple followers.
And that's that one. Okay. The next name I saw on the list was Ashley. And we've got plenty of ways to spell Ashley, so you can get it however you'd like. Play around with all of them or just type in Ash and see who fills in on your mark. Get set. Go. Interesting. Jackie came up. Hey, what's up? Box? Okay. Like, it just like, it will work? Like, oh, I thought that was a box. Real, genuine comments. Be thoughtful. Especially if you've posted tonight, this will help bring people to you. <clears throat> oh my. Was there anyone in there, Kaden? Check if there's one on my dresser. Oh, I know. No. I feel like that was my feeling. I've been having that feeling the past like two minutes. Okay, that was three minutes on that name. The next name on our list was Glennon, which I think is rather unique, and I don't know how many people have, are following you named Glennon. So just type in the letter G and go from there and see who we find. G. Thank you, Kaden. Oops, let me set the timer. Dang a -ling. Hi, cutie. Oh, I 
December 15th, Make sure you're adding some followers. Don't forget that part. That's an easy one to not get to. That's really important. And not that we like to judge people, but do try to add followers that look like your potential people. If someone looks like they're a teenager, I'm not adding them. If someone has a picture with their kids, I'm more likely to add them even though mine's not with my kids. All right, we're gonna do one more. That was three minutes on G. The next name is Becca, Becca. So look for some Beccas or BECs and see who we find in our following. <clears throat> And then I've got one last thing to say to you before we end at 930. This girl's a teacher. Her first day was today, so I'm sending her a personal message because I get it. No, Paxton. You'll be the first to know. Make sure you add to collections. I'm adding this girl to my potential coaches collection. <clears throat> it's 
30 more seconds. Okay, that's that. Wrap that one up. <clears throat> There's a few things that I just wanted to say, especially with our new coaches and just some things to remind you about and some changes Instagram wise. It's really important. And I heard the girl say it today when Teresa was playing our podcast or playing our action hour. Uh, don't post and ghost, which I thought was a funny analogy, but it's something that I remember in my very first weeks of coaching, listening to a Christine Dwyer podcast. And she talked about the importance of posting when you have a chance to then interact afterwards. And it's just as important for you to post and interact with the people interacting with that post and thanking them immediately and commenting back because that helps keep it active and in the algorithm. But it's also super important for us to post and then go to our stories and look at who's viewed them and, and chat with them. It's important for us to go to past posts and comment and like the people who are interacting with that. Go to our followers by picking a letter or a name and interacting because if they're on, they're much more likely to see your post. And Instagram also realizes you're using this as a social platform to connect and not just as a promotion. If we post and put our phone down and walk away, it's not going to be as favorable as if we post and we hang out for at least 20 minutes to a half hour afterwards and do something like this. This is just a way for you to connect when you're looking for fresh ways to interact with your people. It's so easy for us to see the same content from the same individual accounts repeatedly because they're the ones we're interacting with or are most likely to interact with us. So follow this structure every day in different aspects. You can go to inspo accounts. That's something Micah likes to talk about where you have a few different accounts. Maybe they're bloggers, maybe they're girlfriends of yours, maybe they're moms from the moms group, maybe they're your neighbors that you like to go to and expand from those accounts. Um, maybe it's locations, maybe it's hashtags, maybe it's your past posts from a year ago and trying to pull up the people who used to follow you and you've got lost in the algorithm for them. Um, so it's just looking at different ways to get inside of your following and inside of your followers and to build those connections. And using your collections wisely, when people start interacting back, add them to a collection that then that could be the way you interact that day. You're going to open your August collection of your hot list or your hot interactions or your, you know, uh, chatty people. And you're going to go in and you're going to make sure you follow up with those conversations. Ask them how that sunscreen is that they had posted about the other day. Did those cookies turn out really good that you were, that you were baking? Showing that you're following along with their lives and getting to know them really will go far. All right, everybody. Okay, it's simple, but it's so, so, so vitally important. I knew we flew through some names really fast. I wouldn't recommend doing it that fast, but giving yourself 20 minutes to do something like this. The other day, I just kept going through names that popped into my head until I exhausted that name and then moved on to the next one. Um, and it was fun and it created a lot of connections with followers I hadn't looked at in a long time. As your business continues to build and as your following continues to build, it's important to change it up how you're getting into those lists because it's easy to just see, like I said, the same 20, 30, 100 people repeatedly. All right, ladies and gents. There's no gents. I don't know why I said gents. Well, that is that. I'm going to stop the recording. You guys are rocking. Thank you so much for.